Welcome back to Auto Scoop with your host, Adam Goldfine. Welcome back to Auto Scoop. I'm Adam Goldfine. We are being joined by Richard Griffin, one of Atlanta's top personal injury attorneys, to talk about how do you know if you have a great case? How do you know if you have uh, damages that you're entitled to recover? And not just limited to motor vehicle accidents. It could be you're on a bicycle. It could be you slip and fall in a store. It could be uh, a company event. It, it's really any situation where you're injured, as you were saying, and it's at the cause of somebody else, or in some situations, which I find fascinating, that no negligence required if it's at work or in a work-related, it's kind of like, what do they call that, strict liability? Is that really the deal, where it's, you got hurt at work, therefore you're entitled to workers' comp? It's exactly that. A workers' comp is sort of where the Georgia legislatures and each state has their own statute, which provides for workers' comp. Um, so each one's a little different. But basically, the idea was to uh, eliminate the burden of the worker having to prove that the employer was negligent. If you get hurt on the job, maybe you're on the roof and you uh, trip and slip and fall off the roof and you have a catastrophic injury. Well, under the old system, if it was under personal injury, you'd have to prove that the employer or the homeowner or someone was knew about a defect that should have been taken care of. Well, that's a burden a lot of people wouldn't be able to prove. So you'd be out of luck with getting your medical expenses paid if there was not workers' comp. You wouldn't have any lost wages paid if there was not workers' comp. Uh, you wouldn't have any impairment, permanent partial disability benefits if there wasn't workers' comp. So if you have this statute for workers' comp, and before we get into the damages, you, it, it begs the question, what do I need you for? Well, the fact of the matter is that adjusters will deny a claim right at the beginning. Huh. Uh, they don't have to accept compensability. They can say, well, we think maybe you weren't doing, you were outside your scope of employment, maybe you're on a personal errand. The facts are very, very specific. Uh, there are, there are, they're supposed to start income benefits within 20 days of uh, the first date of disability. Um, that oftentimes does not occur. So are the remedies that, that a, um, an individual receives different whether or not they have representation or they do it alone? Well, absolutely. I think without representation, you're pretty much at the mercy of the adjuster as to what they want to pay. The amount that they pay is supposed to be two-thirds for an income benefit, two-thirds of your average weekly wage based on the 13 weeks prior to the date of the accident. Well, that's a fact that most workers wouldn't know. Adjusters sometimes have, they calculate it incorrectly, uh, and you end up getting underpaid or not paid at all. 